ASMR, you guys, ASMR. All right, guys, welcome back to another week's vlog. This week, we're gonna talk about paint protection. Uh, more specifically, ceramic coating versus paint protection film. Which one is better? In my opinion, the film is always better. Uh, it's a physical like barrier, right, that you can actually see. Ceramic coating, yeah, easy to clean. Oh, protects from light scratching. Really, does it? I don't know. We're gonna find out today. So the whole purpose of like doing paint protection is keeping your car looking like this and not looking like this. And the whole purpose of uh, today's video is to pick the right film so it doesn't turn from nice and clear like this into all yellow and ugly like this. This belongs into the garbage. The crazy thing is you guys, this is almost a uh, 12 year old car. This is an anniversary edition. Um, and it's just in, in immaculate condition, you guys. 40th anniversary. And look at this, the paint is just beautiful. Well, well maintained. And this is almost a 10 year old car. And look at it. Totally neglected and Basically, it does not have paint protection film or any kind of paint protection on it. And that's uh, why I can't stress anymore that you need paint protection. So this one is gonna go through that treatment and we're gonna put some nice Lumar paint protection film on it and it's gonna keep on looking mint. But uh, let's get on to uh, today's video, you guys. And um, I'm going to show you guys the difference between ceramic coating and actual paint protection film. And this is actually Lumar's latest and greatest film on the market right now. It also has ceramic coating natures to it, so it will beat off water just like ceramic coating here. Um, we're not going to mention any kind of brand for ceramic coating, uh, but this one for sure I will push the brand. It is Lumar Valor. And let's go throw some water on. Let's show the difference between the beading off on water. All right, you guys. So when you go and get ceramic coating or paint protection done, uh, when the first thing when you pick up the vehicle or when they're trying to sell you on it, uh, especially ceramic coating, oh, it's how easy, how uh, clean the water beads off or how it, it just, they, they'll run their hand across the uh, paint surface after it's been freshly done. Like, oh, it's so nice and smooth, so very slippery. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Uh, even though you guys can't feel it, I'm gonna do a piece of tape test and to see if the, I guess, show you how the film and the ceramic coating um, doesn't allow the piece of tape to stick to the paint surface. So I'm gonna show you it right now. All right guys, so I'm gonna take the piece of tape. We're gonna put it on the ceramic coating side here. So it doesn't stick very well here. And it comes off. Quite easy, nice and slippery to the touch. And we're gonna do it on the Lumar side. See, just instantly just kinda, doesn't even stick at all, you guys. That's how, 
There you go. So we just finished the first test. And then, so the second test they're gonna do is they're gonna grab a bottle of water. Straight bottle of water and they're gonna dump it on and show you how, oh, how easy it is to, uh, uh, the water will just beat off. So that's the ceramic coating side where the water just kind of just runs right off. And a little more side. Absolutely gorgeous film, you guys. Pretty impressive, eh? So that's what they're gonna get you on. So ceramic coating, very easy to clean, nice and smooth and on to the touch of the back of the hand. And a lot of people just buy into it. Um, so next up, uh, a lot of us clean our cars with a, like a brush or like in Canada here, we use a snow brush. And uh, we're gonna do that test right now to see the protection of the, uh, the film and the coating. Uh, it's supposed to protect light scratches and stuff. Well, we'll see if it works or not. All right. So up in Canada, we're gonna use a snow brush. Pretty decent, eh? No scratches. You can actually see the fine scratches starting to show up now. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but anyways, we're gonna do the uh, bring out the big guns here. This is a demo that uh, if you go into the tint shops or paint protection film shops, they're gonna have a little demo display here, and you can scratch it all up. You can see the scratches in this side here too. There's a decent amount of scratches, but then you're gonna go away, eh? Let's see if I uh, get the heat gun here, and uh, let's see if it uh, disappears. So on the PPF side here, I don't know if the camera can show, but the, the scratch lines are all right here. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Not bad. Let's go to the ceramic side. So hands down, pin protection for scratching and protecting the I guess paint surface from light scratches or snow brushes and stuff like that. Uh, hands down, pin protection is the way to go. Um, it just puts a physical barrier. C ceramic coating, yeah, it does have a physical barrier, or really, or does it? It just a glorified wax. I don't know. Well, it doesn't pass the uh, scratch test for. Um, everyday use, I guess, uh, washing your car or snow brushes. And so paint protection one. All right. So the next thing, uh, I was kind of want to show you guys is, uh, I got this, uh, demo from Tony at, uh, blackout auto tinting. Um, check out his actual, his fishing channel too, guys. I'll just put the link in one of the, uh, corners here. Uh, fantastic, uh, fishing channel that he just started but anyways he gave me the idea of like because we do a lot of uh, car shows I guess and demonstrating the difference between the films and why paint protection is uh, like why paint protection film is better than ceramic coating and uh, why you should spend that extra money or invest your money into that instead of ceramic coating but anyways he showed me this boy this is the wow factor, you guys. This is his barbecue brush. Down in Texas, you know, we love to go, go big or go home, right guys? So this is the big kicker. If you go into a ceramic coating company or shop that sells ceramic coating and tries to sell it to you guys as a paint protection film and it protects it, tell them or ask them, will it hold up to a barbecue brush? Um, I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. Ooh. ASMR, you guys, ASMR. Look at that, eh, you guys? Now you can actually see that, you guys. Should I do it on the Corolla? Uh, for demonstration purposes, guys, let's do it, eh? Ceramic coating, 
Just listen to that ASMR, you guys. Barbecue brush. Before I already know what the answer is already, you guys, but. It just disappears right away. All right, guys, so if you are loving the vlog right now and all that ASMR we just heard, smash that subscribe button, guys, turn on the notification, and share with all your friends. And um, thank you guys for all the support. So, throughout the whole vlog, you guys are probably saying Fun's pretty biased, and um, you know, mainly probably yes and two i just don't get ripped off you know you go to those ceramic coating companies and they try to sell you on oh paint protection film or i heard it so many times where i go to the trade shows or car meets or car shows and then i ask them hey is your car absolutely it's absolutely beautiful you know have you did anything to protect your paint have you put paint protection film on or paint protection they're like oh yeah of course my car is paint protected i got it ceramic coating i'm like ceramic coating as you can see already it ain't no protection what is it protecting against oh, they try to sell you. you you go in any of those shops and they try to sell you oh it'll protect you from like bugs and you know um uh light scratches and stuff light scratches it, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna protect any of you guys and then before you put the coating on they'll sell you on like uh paint correction that depends on your color especially if you have a darker vehicle and well, you need so many hours of paint correction, right? Or polishing. And that's where they get you. And then when it comes to a uh, reputable shop, they're gonna charge you a minimum 1200 bucks for the coating itself. And another eight, at least minimum eight, five to eight hours of polishing. So you're gonna walk away with a bill of like over two grand. And what do you get after a year? It's a lot of disappointment because you're gonna have like swirls and scratches all over your vehicle. Honestly, the average Joe, average car enthusiast, is not gonna like polish your car or protect your car on like most people do, or they're not as meticulous, but they want easy um, maintenance on their vehicle, and that's the whole purpose of selling paint protection film or paint protection or ceramic coating. So yeah, don't get ripped off, you guys. Um, get a paint protection film, you guys. It's just that much better. It's just, you actually see a physical barrier of actual protection, right? And the coating, you know what? It'll work for the first few months, but after that, it just, I feel it's just it's a lot of disappointment, you guys. So um, I'll put a link below. Lumar is the brand to go with, you guys, and they just launched that new Valor, and again, And again, you're getting that added ceramic coating properties that most people get sold on, is the water beating off the film or the paint surface. So save your money, ask for the Valor, look for a reputable Lumar Select Pearl dealer that carries this film, and you won't get disappointed, you guys. Um, I'll put the link uh, to Lumar's website in the description below or up top here so that you can find a reputable dealer. Uh, it's just well worth the investment, you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. And uh, again, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.